going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. Today's a ministry show, so you're not going to want to change that channel because God may have something to say to you that you really, really need. He may even call out your name. Who knows? We've called out names before. Well, he has, not we, but by the power of the Holy Spirit. And anyways, thank you for joining. So if you were clicking through, don't change the channel. <laughs> Because God's got something for you. And remember to call our prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY. That's 7729, always right there behind my head and periodically across the bottom of the screen. Okay? Oh, ministry, <laughs> ministry, ministry show. So don't go. I'm Charlene back to Mirror and your God's View host. Thank you for joining us. Stephanie Bash, Priscilla Pruitt, and Stacy White is sitting in again for Lana. <laughs> and we're so grateful that she uh, agreed to do that because she does a great job. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we needed somebody, and so we're thankful. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, Priscilla, anybody sure. got anything? I, I will go ahead and let you know what the Holy Spirit gave me. Um, so ministry show is really about us just saying what the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. has showed us about somebody out yeah. there and what God gave me a clear picture of. I was here praying while the girls were, um, the ladies were getting dressed and I was asking the Holy Spirit, like, what do you have? And he showed me a picture of a couple, a domestic violence dispute. And it was, a you know, between a husband and a wife. And you two were just yelling at each other, but the Holy Spirit is really speaking and saying that if you will invite me into your marriage, I can restore everything and restore it to when you first fell in love. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that every marriage can, can mm -hmm. be grateful for. All of us need that. We all need to be restored to when we first fell in love because you kind of get cold towards one another as marriage goes along. You have to ignite that fire every once in a while. And so it's okay. First of all, I want to remove any condemnation, any judgment. We're not judging you. We're here for you. And I just want to pray and speak love over you and let you know that it's going to be okay. Things are going to get better. Marriages go through this. I've been married almost 20 years, Stephanie 35 years, and Charlene 50 years. And we understand. And I know that Stacy was married as well before. And... Um, you know, we've all been through it. We know, I mean, my husband and I remember we've separated for six months at one time and it was great. It was good for us. We, you know, we learned to date one another and to fall back in love because we worked at it. Mm -hmm. We chose to work at it. We chose to separate for a little bit to date each other, basically, just to separate so we can miss each other and date each other and fall back in love. So there's zero judgment here. So I'm going to pray for you. And I just pray that God would bring Thank restoration yes. and that you would be able to forgive, completely forgive yes. and let go of all the past, yes. all the hurt, all the mm -hmm. mistakes to bring those walls down and that you would be able to let go of anything that has hurt you, that has caused you to, to just literally protect yeah. your heart and be um, be stone cold and not ever allow vulnerability back into your heart. And I just want to remove that stone cold Jesus. heart. And it says in the word of God that God will give us a new heart. And I just mm -hmm. pray yes, for that for you me. right now. Sure. And I pray that the latter days of your marriage would be better than yes. the former and that Jesus would be at the center of your marriage Amen. from now yes. on. And it says in the word of God that when you put Jesus in the middle, yes. that it, in the middle, that a three strand cord is not yes. easily broken. That's right. And so right now, I'm just yes. praying that over your marriage, that even though it's been difficult, even though that there has been strife and that there has been discord, that from now on, there's going to be love and that there's going to be romance and there's going to be intimacy like never before, that this will be a whole new marriage because Jesus will be at the center. I also pray that you would have a hunger and an intimacy with Jesus, that he would yeah. be your first That's love right. so that you can love one another more. And I just encourage you to seek after him, that once you fall in love with your first love, you will be able to love your spouse in the way that God intended you to. You to. So that's what I have for you. Hallelujah. You had something to go along with yeah, marriage, too. Yeah, really, God gave I, I you do. something. I do, yeah. There's, there, a lot of people are struggling in their marriages and in mm. their relationships. And, and I have this scripture in 2 Thessalonians 3, 5. Now may the Lord direct your hearts into the love and i just want you to really catch that into the love of god <clears throat> and into the patience of christ allow the lord to direct your heart into the love of god receiving mm -hmm. his love knowing his love he first loved you mm -hmm. 
Love covers a multitude of sins. And I was getting that again, you know, after. But love covers a multitude of mistakes, mm -hmm. failures, sins. Abide in God's love. Abide in His love. Get to know Him. Sit at His feet. Yeah. Yeah. Let Him fill you up. Like it says in Romans 5.5, 5, the Holy Spirit fills you mm -hmm. with His love. He will fill you up. Allow Him to fill you up and receive His love. Many people are struggling with even receiving God's love mm -hmm. because oh, whatever right. you've done yeah. wrong, your mistakes, mm -hmm. uh, the enemy comes to bring condemnation and guilt and shame. He wants to remind you. He will rehearse things. He wants you to rehearse mm -hmm. all of the mistakes and failures, things that were done to you, things that you did to somebody else. You need to cast that thought down. Take it, uh, take it captive into the obedience of Christ. Mm -hmm. Receive God's love. He paid the price for you. Amen. You don't have to stay there. Just receive His love. Know that He forgives you. He already did it. Now receive His love. Abide in His love. And then carry that love. Let Him build you up with that love. So you can love your spouse. Love your family members. All of the infighting. All of the things that are going on. The enemy loves to destroy relationships. That's one of his goals. Is he wants to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to distract you. He wants to keep you distracted. And keep you away from spending time with the Lord. And receiving that love. And he wants to deceive you. And he wants to destroy you and mm -hmm. destroy marriages so mm -hmm. he can get to the children. So, Amen. Yeah. That's right. That's good. Yeah. yeah. And as you were talking, I had saw a man that was in his death, like on his deathbed, in bed, just crying out to Jesus, help, yeah. help. I know you. I trust you. But you're at the point of saying, God, wait, where are you? I've mm -hmm. cried out to you. And um, I got the scripture, Psalms 41.3, and it says, the Lord sustains him on his sickbed. In his illness, you will restore him to full health. Yeah. And so right now, I just declare by the stripes of Jesus Christ, yes. I plead his yes. blood over yes. you. Yes. And I say, oh, breath of God, breathe yes. life into this man yes. right now that Jesus. he will rise up off this yes. sick bed. Thank you for sustaining yes. him. Thank you for being yes. there for him. We call you faithful, God. But I thank you right now. Yes. You're breathing life into him and yes. life more abundantly that he would have yes. despaired, except mm -hmm. now he will yes. see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Mm -hmm. yes. So we thank you for that, Lord. And, yes. and also, if you are hearing mm -hmm. this and you feel like you are like, wait, I'm a woman or I'm a child or I know of somebody. And, and she said specifically for this man, yes, I did because I saw that. But what you need to know is the word of God is alive and active and it's prophecy. And when we speak it, it's for anyone. Yeah. He's no yeah. respecter of persons. And whenever we hear a word of knowledge or a word of wisdom or something prophetically spoke out and we think to ourselves, wow, that pertains to me, then you say yes and amen because all your promises are from him and he will not, he will not leave you out. He will not leave you out. He's not like that. It's for everyone. And so right now, if that's you, I thank you that they have the faith to say yes and Lord, that you remove anything that said, I'm always left out. I've always been rejected. I'm never the one called out. Right now, he's calling you out because he heard your heart and he told me. Mm -hmm. And so, Lord, I thank you that they, too, are sustained by you, yes. but they are rising up yes. off their sick bed right now yes. in Jesus' name. And they are made Hallelujah. holy today. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. So Amen. Amen. And then I heard yes. um, the Holy Spirit gave me a word for someone. and It was, let your ego go. Mm. Yes. <laughs> and so, uh, to That's me, it good. sounds like somebody who is dealing with a lot of pride. And so, the, you know, the Word of God is super clear on the spirit of pride. Pride is actually what made Lucifer um, feel mm -hmm. like he was as good as God and his fall. Mm -hmm. It was ultimately due to pride. And so pride is yes. very, uh, very mentioned in the Word of God. And Proverbs 11 says, 11 two, when pride mm -hmm. comes, then comes disgrace. But with humility comes wisdom. Yeah. And then Proverbs 16.5 says, The Lord detests all of the proud of heart. Be sure of this. They will not go unpunished. Yeah. And Proverbs 16.18 says, Prize, Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. And so when God says, let your ego go, that's him actually loving you because yeah. he's warning that's you. Right. Before, right. mm -hmm. like it says right here, be sure they will not go unpunished. Before mm -hmm. the punishment, he's warning you, look, 
This is a promise I've placed over pride. If you're going to operate in this pride, you're going to have a punishment. Something's going to happen. Mm. I am loving you by warning you. Let that ego go. Yes. Surrender. Repent. Ooh, Surrender right. it over to yeah. God right now. Just say, Lord, forgive me. I have allowed this ego to continue yes. in me. Mm -hmm. I Thanks, repent. Yes. I ask you to come into my heart right now to be the one to, to yes. run this yes. run this for me. Run this company. Run this marriage. Whatever it is that you're going through. Fill in the gap. The Holy Spirit will take over. And mm -hmm. once you surrender it to Him, like it says right here, be sure where it says, but humility comes with wisdom. Yes. Once you mm -hmm. bring that humility in and you let go, wisdom will come in and He That's will right. gu guide and direct your steps, he will mm -hmm. give you instructions mm -hmm. on how to run that business, whatever it is, he will guide you. And I'm telling you, it is a life so much more fulfilling mm -hmm. than pride mm -hmm. and having yes. to perform. Because pride is actually, I mean, it's actually self, um, you're actually self-conscious. Yeah. You you want to be bigger, you want to seem, seem bigger and better and all these things to people because you're actually not feeling that inside. And so, it is way more fulfilling to let go and let God run it and then walk in wisdom and love and peace. You're yeah. going to feel joy. Trust me. Well, yes. because when you're in pride, you're in opposition with God. You are. You're, you're in opposition, and God said that mm -hmm. he resists the proud mm -hmm. and gives yes. grace to the humble. And so humility comes with uh, great things from God. Grace. But pride, I mean, look at the enemy. Pride. He rose up against God and said, I will be like you. Yeah. And God hates pride. He detests he pride. Because he knows how destructive yeah. it is mm -hmm. to you. It's, it's almost like when they say, uh, you know, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Well, he doesn't tell you that to make you feel bad or to put you down. He tells you that because he knows the lack of results in yes. your life because of the way he set up the kingdom. And so he wants you mm -hmm. to really repent for pride, really <laughs> repent, just like Priscilla um, said. And I got um, prophecy that God wants you to desire mm -hmm. to prophesy. Mm -hmm. You know, Amen. it's so mm -hmm. amazing how many yes. people have laid that gift down yes. because of the mm -hmm. fires that, um, you know, the... The bad, you know, people Perception. would prophesy and say, you know, things that weren't true mm -hmm. or wasn't yeah. God and all this. So they just put out the whole fire mm -hmm. with that gift. And and so you might have been hurt. You may have just been learning prophecy and God wants you to prophesy again because you may have just been learning. And because of the devastation, <coughs> when they reprimanded you, instead of just allowing you to learn, uh, mm -hmm. and grow and you can you know everybody's you know most people are big and if, if it was something that devastating a pastor whoever could just come and say they're learning they're growing mm -hmm. and this was not God or whatever right. but it devastated you so much you shut down yeah. and God wants you to, to mm -hmm. covet to prophesy mm -hmm. again he says it's the only thing in the Bible that you can covet <clears throat> you know it doesn't say covet anything else matter of fact in the that's Ten Commandments right. it said thou shalt not covet that's right you know, so yeah. we can covet and, and just yeah. really want to prophesy like somebody else is prophesying because God yeah. wants you to because he knows yes. what will happen in your life with prophecy. And yeah. uh, I, I mean, prophecy has brought me to the table that I sat at today along my journey because when I first came to the Lord, I needed the prophetic word mm -hmm. because I was so, heard all of the, the worst over me. And then when I kept getting called out with the gift of prophecy from all of these mm -hmm. people, sure, it was um, odd to me. I would say, yeah, well, that ain't going to happen to me. What rock hit them on the head? <laughs> but, you know, after a while, you just believe yeah. it. God just, yeah. he just fills you up mm -hmm. with that word, that prophetic word, because it was predestined and ordained from heaven. And somebody who's a true prophet, or even if it was a minister, a pastor, a evangelist, or whoever, not just a prophet, yeah. but yes. moving in that gift, they would speak what God yes. spoke. And pretty soon I was so pregnant I was walking it out because I believed it but even at first I would say okay God you know I mean I don't know if that could ever happen but I, I'm going to believe you and I'm going to trust you and I'm going to do it afraid and I'm going to obey I always did things afraid and obeyed even if they asked me to pray right when I was uh, first born again and God wants you to do this there's many of you that are watching that are really connecting what I'm saying right now because 
you're just born again and of course you don't know the word of course you don't know mm -hmm. what's going on with people sitting there i mean if they asked me to pray at the uh, at a restaurant i thought i'd fall apart mm -hmm. faint die mm -hmm. i mean my knees were knocking mm -hmm. but yes. I, I, yeah i didn't That's know right. yeah. and and there's yeah. no reason for you to be embarrassed or feel like you got to live right. up to anything god just wants you to just yeah. enjoy your journey That's right. and prophesy That's right. you know what the hebrew word for prophesy okay. means to speak say sing by mm. inspiration so mm. you know yeah. you, you speak and you say it because everything was yes. created with words with mm. god's word he just spoke and it was and that's why there's so much power in our words and he mm. wants you to prophesy over your situation Yes. He wants you to call the That's things right. that are not mm -hmm. as though they were, pertaining to your destiny, That's pertaining right. to the things that he spoke over you on the potter's will in heaven. Yes. Prophecy is a powerful, powerful, yes. powerful tool. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a dream that, um, that the Holy Spirit has placed in someone's heart that someone that's watching and you've allowed the enemy to steal that dream from you mm -hmm. and it is God who has placed that desire in your heart it is him who gave you those talents to even make that happen and he is the one that gave that dream um, who's giving you that dream and placed it in your heart and just like Charlene said you know do it do it afraid mm -hmm. just obey and do it mm -hmm. and I know that God will honor he will honor you stepping out in faith. He will ordain your steps and he will guide you if you do it in faith. Like she said, just yeah. do it afraid. Do it afraid. Yeah, right. You know, like you said, yeah. didn't you say yeah. Joyce Myers and yeah. 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 You know, and uh, I don't know that because I don't really read books, but the thing is, is that's what the Holy Spirit did with me from day mm -hmm. one. Yep. And when you do it afraid, believe it or not, you just get braver and braver mm -hmm. and braver. That's that's right. And God just brings yeah, more so and true. more that's anointing. Right. Right. And you learn to trust in a greater way because yes. God backs it up. Amen. And prophecy, yeah. he'll always, you know, he confirms. He confirms it. And sometimes it is right away and people are saying to you oh that must not have been god okay here's and thank you holy ghost that, that it must not have been god because it didn't come to pass do you mm. know things don't come to pass sometimes for 20 years look yeah. at joseph that's right that's come right. on how it's long was right. he in prison but yeah. that word was way yeah. back there and i'll tell you what he got thrown into prison yeah. and got yeah. thrown into that pit by his mm -hmm. brothers and sisters mm -hmm. and he's probably thinking well where was that you know yeah. god you yeah. said and right. they'd always mock him and people are mocking you they would say to joseph mm -hmm. oh yeah here comes that dreamer uh, mm -hmm. You know, because they were laughing and yeah, mocking yeah. at what yeah. God had spoke over them. You're always going to have the devil laughing right. and mocking and saying, ha, 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 is this That's really right. God? Right. No. But that mm -hmm. prophetic word yes. is powerful yeah. because God spoke to Timothy. Paul said, Timothy, my son, you yes. wage a good mm -hmm. warfare with the That's prophetic right. word mm -hmm. that went out before you. Yes. So you have to fight. You have That's to right. wage that good warfare right. with that prophetic word that went That's out right. before you. You got to fight for that thing because mm -hmm. it's just like yes. what Priscilla said. He wants you to lay down that dream. Mm -hmm. He wants you to lay yes. down that oh, vision. Yeah, he he don't want you to pick yeah. that back up because he knows the danger you <coughs> will be right. to the kingdom yeah. and the people yeah. that you will bless for the kingdom yeah. of God. Yeah. You think for one minute he likes us sitting up here? Oh God! Today, if you only knew the things that <laughs> happened today, just, just today, today alone. Just today. I mean, my <laughs> gosh! I don't think I've had this in 17 years. God's yeah. going to yeah. yeah. really yeah. minister to somebody yeah. great. I agree. I really yeah. feel like it's a grandma yeah. or somebody like that. Yeah. Somebody's really going to uh -huh. get ministered yeah. to yeah. today yeah. out of yeah. these shows because mm -hmm. it was so, I have never I seen an attack that great in all yeah. different areas. Yeah. yeah. But that's yeah. okay. That's all okay right. because here we, we are. Dream. We're standing and God mm -hmm. is ministering yeah. and he's doing exactly what he's called yeah. us to do. And when you get us. knocked down, you get back up. You get back up. You know, in my book, you got something. Go ahead. I do. Yeah. Because I can do this. No, no. We got lots of time. When we were you were talking about marriage and just the, uh -huh. the fighting and the relationship, yeah. Yeah. I kept hearing the word rage. Ooh. And I felt like um, mm -hmm. I that needed to go the, back there. That, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and I also saw mm -hmm. a teenager, and any time your parents have said anything mm -hmm. to you, you get so angry that mm -hmm. you even have thoughts of um, mm -hmm. murder mm -hmm. is what I saw. You want to hurt people, oh. and you have actually hurt animals oh. and things, and I saw yeah. that, and, and it... But you can change today. You're hearing this and you can yeah, change. And I yeah. believe and I prophesy yes. it out yeah. that you will say yes. yes to Jesus today and that you will yes. repent yes. for having rage and wrong yes. anger and you will get yes. healed from the things that yeah. broke your heart. Mm. And yes, there are things that you saw and experienced and things that were done to you that weren't right. 
They weren't mm -hmm. right. But I can tell you this, if you repent and you forgive, God will set you free. And he has a plan and a purpose for you that is so good. It's far beyond anything you can hope, ask, or pray for. Right. And it says, fools give full vent to their rage, but the wise bring calm in the end. And that's Proverbs 29, 11. And I tell you to go to the Word of God. Yes. If you have a Bible um, or ask somebody for one and read yes. Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs yes. is wisdom. It gives you the answers. That's right. Um, to how to get rid of rage, and then mm -hmm. in um, read one chapter a day. Yes, There's and then the in James one nineteen twenty, it says, "My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Mm -hmm. Everyone should be quick to listen. Yes. So when somebody's speaking to you, yes. Yes. Speak just listen, yes, right. and then be slow to speak yes. and slow yes. to become Amen. angry. Yes. That will help yes, you, yes, even yes, if yes. you just That's go, right. <gasps> and mm -hmm. you take two seconds and just go, nope." Nope, I'm going to listen mm -hmm. because God's going to speak to me. And even if somebody right. is acting in anger towards you, you can still be slow to speak yeah. and slow to become anger. And then mm -hmm. it says, because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. And you That's know what? Right. That's so important because he loves you. Mm -hmm. And if he didn't love you, he would have never spoke your name and given you breath for you to be here on this earth. And exactly. he did. And you're yes. fearfully and wonderfully made. He Amen. cares that much. I Amen. feel his heart for you. Yes. So Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank yes. you thank yes. that this yes. young person that has hurt yes. or anybody yes. else that is struggling with rage, yes. where it has overtaken them, yes. Lord, I thank you that the peace that passes all understanding yes. resonates in their soul and spirit, that you heal the broken in heart and you bind up all the wounds and sorrows that have caused them to have this kind of rage and that you heal them from the abuse and the trauma that they went through, the things that they saw, and Lord, that they're breaking, I break off the curse of generations that, have, that is trying to cause them to do the same thing that was done to them. I break it off right now Amen. by the blood of Jesus yeah, Christ. Amen. And I thank you, Lord, that today they become a new creature in Christ yes. and that they are calm and collective and they're forgiven and they're able to forgive in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. 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 You know, Amen. in Matthew... Um, uh, Matthew is at five. Uh, it says where, yeah, Matthew five, that says that anyone who is so much as angry is guilty of murder. Mm. That's right. And yeah. that's Whoa. why, yeah. see, Whoa, the, the thing just... is, is what I have seen with people that are angry, it does lead to murder. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they say it's all hate. of these, yeah, these yeah. serial hate. killers, mm -hmm. you know, they say, oh, well, this or that. They end up hating their mother or mm -hmm. this, somebody, and that's who they yeah. target. Yeah. And, you know, at first, just that anger and that rage stays in them. Then pretty soon mm -hmm. you have to act something out. And when, yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> when Stephanie was talking about the rage that you can't even hold in, that's what mm -hmm. happens to yeah, people that are so that. angry and so yeah. full of rage. Then they have to go out and they have to act it out and hurt yeah. someone. And so they rape or they murder or they kill. And what we're saying to you right now at listening to us in your ears, let God touch you. Yes. Let yes. God heal you. Yes. Let God set you free yes. from this. Because anger leads yes. to. And yeah. how many times yes. do we see on the news? where a spouse yeah. or a boyfriend got angry yeah, right. and murdered mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. their spouse, murdered yeah. Yeah. their girlfriend, mm -hmm. or took them up in the mountains, mm -hmm. and they go, oh, we don't know, we just got lost, or she fell, or whatever, and they mm -hmm. murdered them because of the rage and the anger. Yeah. So come on today, repent. I, I pray you prayed that yeah. prayer mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. Stephanie, and mm -hmm. that... You get totally set free. Yeah. And it hurts the kids. Yes. I mean, yes. it, it hurts the children. They are yeah. the ones that, that, That's right. that mm -hmm. have that influence in their yeah. life and they're learning. Yeah. And it's just, it's it's life changing for them. So even if it, yeah. you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for your children. Yes. Um, they deserve better. In God's they do. Yeah. They deserve it. <clears throat> yes. They deserve yes. it. Amen. You know, in um, in one of my uh, books, Jumping Into the Prophetic Daily Devotion, I'm going to read this. I've read it mm -hmm. uh, a couple times in the last lot of years, but uh, I just feel uh, uh, led to read it again because God wants you to come out of the valley of dry bones. Many of mm. you, your dry bones yes. could be uh, representing mm. all kinds of different things. Yeah. But today, I pray this speaks to you yes. uh, and yeah. take it as a prophetic yeah. word from heaven mm. and yeah. then just Amen. go forth with all you can in you mm. to just walk it, walk it, believe mm. it, trust God because he loves you. It says, um, and, and we're reading it, the the. The devotional is uh, Ezekiel 37, 1 through 14. It says in verse 2, Behold, in other words, look, there were many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. 
Dry here in the Hebrew means to be ashamed. Mm. See, many of you are ashamed. It means to be confused. Many of you are confused, disappointed. Many of you are disappointed mm. because things haven't happened mm. that you thought should happen by now, now and you're shaking your fist at God. But it's all in timing. Yes. And it says also to dry up or wither is what it means. God has given you his word in your mouth to speak to those dry yes. bones. Okay? In yes. other words, it's going along with he wants you to prophesy. Yeah. He wants you to prophesy. Speak to it. Prophesy to the disappointed places. Yeah. Come out of your graves. Mm -hmm. I'm prophesying to you right now. And be pointed towards yes. your destiny. Yes. Take the dis out of disappointment. Mm -hmm. Prophesy that you are appointed mm -hmm. and anointed by God and shall fulfill your purpose here on earth and yes. will hear God say, well done, thou yes. good and faithful servant, yeah. enter in. Yes. In verse 11 and 12, God says, they say our bones are dried up, our mm. hope is lost. They say, see, you're saying, you have to turn mm. this thing That's around. Right. Therefore, prophesy yes. and say unto them, turn your voice today. Yeah. See, turn this thing around and say what God says to say. Yes. Prophesy. Yeah. Prophesy, yes, S-A-Y. Open up, you grave places in my life. Come up into the land God has promised me. In verse 12, and we read that about what prophecy means. Listen, you have to start speaking over your life and turn this thing around. I know there's disappointment. I know there's devastation. There's been so much happening and things crashing at everybody's ship. But I'll mm -hmm. tell you what, you're alive. You woke mm -hmm. up this morning. That's right. Amen. Amen. God loves you. The birds are singing. Amen. You know, <laughs> hallelujah. Whoa, that was fast. We have to go. I'm sorry. We have to go. Time is up. So glad you spent this time with us. You know, God is good. He's faithful. And hopefully you're watching God's view. Um, you can see us all over the world on different platforms and even Amazon, Roku, Fire Stick. I'm just there's so many I, I don't even own game saws and and YouTubes and rumbles there's so many um, avenues and uh, we're just so thankful keep telling people about God's view because God is setting people free we just don't want a bunch yeah. of people follow to follow but we want people to follow to be free Enjoy and uh, listen God wants you to just receive him in your yeah. life today just say Jesus come into my heart be the Lord of my life mm -hmm. forgive Amen. me of my sin I really yes. want my life to change I want what yes. these women have. Yes. Well, you can have it, and it's Jesus, and he's free. And then ask him to baptize you in the Holy Spirit with yes. fire. And please don't yes. wait to clean up. That's the lie of the yeah. devil that God doesn't want you. He wants you yeah. just the way you are. Mm -hmm. He really does. He does, he does. Yeah. And you will never be the same. You will be so thankful. Yes. And I know I'm forever thankful for the day I was brought to the yes. Lord, and so will you be. And, uh, hey, go to our website, please. we got to have uh, some donations to coming in your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you get our wonderful mm -hmm. God's View anointing oil. There's paintings there, some books, some things that there's a lot of things we still got to put up there. But it helps mm -hmm. us. So if we've been a blessing to you, please be a blessing yes. to us today. Yes. And, hey. God does have a view. Mm -hmm. God does have a yes. view personally for you. That's right. And you know what? It's only goodbye for today. Yes. We'll be back. Yes. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> we love you. God bless you. Yes. Go to our website, godsviewtvshows.com. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Oh, like